Okay, the first thing we need to do is to reduce our fuel load. Uh, let me check if I can do this. Uh, let's take uh, half fuel. Did you hear that? I did, no, I didn't hear anything. No. Okay. Let me check if it's working. I hit it the button that I have assigned for the arm and fuel window. Yep. And I request uh, it for half the uh, amount of fuel. And I can if see you my watch fuel. Your it's yes, decreasing fuel gauge. now. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yes, I just to make sure that my gear lever is down also. Okay. So, your jet, uh, start taxi out for uh, the runway. Runway use 31. HSI I should have up here on my screen. Yeah. Yes, we are going to make those all those check just before entering the runway. Okay. And we'll be using the full full runway length. Yeah. Sorry? We'll use the full runway length all the way to the end. What do you mean? Uh, so, I've, I've skipped that turn. We're going to take this one here, is that right? Yes, yes, we are going Correct. through the diago diagonal, yes. Okay. Always, military jets, they don't take risks unnecessarily. Right. Sounds good. If something happens and you need to abort, you should be able to abort with the maximum available runway length right. in front of you. Okay, stop here. Let's configure our MFDs. So for you, it, uh, ADI on the right. ADI on the right. ADI is on the right. Yep. For me, will be hard because I need this repeater. Okay, and HSI on uh, the left. Now it's a good time to, to tune in our Takan station. Go to F10 map and check what is the channel here in Batumi. F10, uh, standby. Batumi is 131.0. Takan station is usually two to three digits. Oh, Takan, sorry, and is uh, uh, six, yes. six, channel 16. 16 yes, X-ray. 16 X-ray, yeah. So, Takan, I'll change to 16 X-ray, or 16? Yes, yes. 16, the X-Y switch doesn't work in this model. Okay. Let me check something. Hmm, something odd is happening in my computer, I don't know what is this. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, so, if you are ready, uh, the pattern will be like this. Uh, we are going to take off, climb straight ahead up to... Uh, 1500 feet 1500. go west about uh, 15 miles from Takan and then with a the left turn we are going to enter with right turn left turn or right turn that means no uh, yes with uh, we are going to do a teardrop are you familiar with the term teardrop uh, I can picture it but you'll, you'll have to guide me on the way Yes, okay, so I will guide you the way in yeah. order to come with the opposite heading uh, for the break of the opposite runway. Uh, we are going for the break after takeoff for the break of runway 13 in order to execute uh, left hand patterns for uh, landings. 
Okay. okay. Yep. That's the that's the pattern for today. That's the overview. So right. your jet. My jet. Okay. Finals. Yep. Okay, so th throw it up, throw it up to eighty, and then wheel brakes release. Straight yes, out, climb to 1500. Final checks, pitot seat, yeah. the skid flap streams, canopy seat, seat arm, okay. Uh, yes, uh, rotation speed uh, go for uh, one. Uh, let me check. I need to check my checklist. What is our weight now? Our weight now is uh, 1400, uh, 13. 130, 130, uh, 140, rotate, but first put flaps half. Flaps half. Uh, I've lost Ver the flap indicator. Uh, I've lost the flap indicator. Yes, the flap uh, indicator is uh, on the left uh, uh, flaps side off. of your front dash. Okay. Do you see half? Yep. Half? Very nice. So I will try to repeat your actions in the back okay. and see that if that is the reason why we didn't uh, have the, the gear down the last flight. Okay? okay. So yep. Yep. your jet, Magic. your jet, yes, go for 80, engine on the green, good pressure on the cabin, no warning, caution lights, and lift brakes, release brakes. Throttle all the way forward. One forty, one forty, rotate. Slowly, very nice. Excellent. Okay, gear up. Gear up. Flaps up. Flaps up. Continue uh, heading three zero. Uh, no, sorry, this heading two nine five. Five. Level of level of uh, fifteen hundred feet. Confirm fifteen hundred feet. Fifteen hundred feet. Yes. Roger. To ten miles out. So our gear is still down because I see the bracket. So uh, recycle your handle, your gear handle, your gear. Press again gear and again. Is that good? No, let me check. My gear indicator is no. down at the moment. So, you okay? Select gear once more. Select gear up now. And then gear down. Nothing happens. Let me select gear. Oh, why is this happening? Okay, I'm going to press G on my keyboard and see if that helps. Yes. So there, my. What did you press? press what did you press now? Uh, G on my keyboard. G and worked. Okay. So let's stick with, with that. Okay, but my my indicator is showing it up. So should I press G again? No, no, no. Oh, big important. We oh. want to be up. My mistake. My mistake. <laughs> Confused Copy myself. that. Yep. Okay, because I checked the outside view with F2, and the gear is up and locked. So okay. we managed to do that. Uh, speed uh, 300 knots, 295. At 10 miles, you will deviate left for heading 245, 45 degrees to the left. 45 degrees left at 
Tim? Yes. Now we are starting our tear drop. 50 to 45 degrees left or right. Stay in this heading. Count up to 15 seconds. 240, is it? Uh, 240, it's okay. Yeah. Count uh, 15 seconds or use your timer. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, Ma make that 45 seconds. Sorry, oh, sorry. 45, sorry, okay. Yes. Let's add 30 more. Yes. I will remember everything eventually. Okay. Right turn. Right turn for heading My jet. Your jet. So, you need to press now on the up front control the button that says Charlie Romeo Sierra course. Charlie Romeo Sierra. Yes. Enter 130. 130. 130, enter. And yeah. so, on your left HSI now, on your left uh, MFD. Uh, bottom right corner should say course and above that 130, correct? Uh, bottom right, uh, course 130, uh, correct, yep. Yes, so you need now to employ the Takan, so you need to square the Takan, the Takan upper left corner, so press that button. Yes. And now you see a line that yes. is the ground track in order for us to follow 130 with the correct track in order to reach the runway. Right. You need you need to reduce the scale on your HSI. So uh, bot, uh, top row, top middle row. button, yeah. scale, Sierra, uh, yes, press it until it comes to 10. 10. All right, I've got 10 on the scale. So you see now we are a bit about two miles right of this line on the left. Yes. That's because I want to come to the head, to the airport with heading 130 okay and 130 ground track is depicted by this line yes so okay. i have i have a 45 degrees uh, meeting at the, let's say crossing angle yep. but i need i need to remember to go to 1500 feet 300 knots i forgot all that so right now the line is coming gradually We need to do that each time we go for the carrier. Right. We need to enter on our core setting the BRC. BRC is reported on the radio on our initial call with yeah. the controller on the carrier. Okay. So in order from uh, 10 miles and inside towards the carrier to come with the correct heading, we need to enter the correct BRC. Right. Okay, so we need to come a little bit to the left again. What do I need to do? I need to align my longitudinal axis of my small plane on the HSI with the line that says 130. Okay, uh, yeah. something like that. 
that is for long distances. Right now yeah. that I am visual, I will go to the brake. Okay, because 130 is not the actual uh, runway heading, probably it's 125 or something like that, or 135. Yep. That's why we have a small deviation. So, let's go. Here I'm going to demonstrate first what you need to do. 1500 feet to 70 to 300 knots. At the end of the runway, we are going to execute a break to the left, throttle mid range, 90 degrees, 80 degrees bank angle, level turn for the opposite heading, 3 1, roughly. Gear down, please. Gear down. Again. 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 It's. Uh, I've got yes, the gear indicator. Does, yes, doesn't come down. Wow. So we need to going on here, yeah. get get it down and leave it there. So try try again, please. Okay, I'm cycling again. No, no, no. I will give you control of the jet. Uh, I have control. You have control. Gear down. Gear down. Nice. Now gear is down. Oh, it's it's up again. Oh, what? Okay. Select. Oh. Select again. There we go. Okay. My jet. Your jet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we will make it work. Yeah. So, 800 feet. I will start my turn. So, do you see the bracket coming from the top downwards? Downwards. I see it. Yep, I got the bracket. So, so. Let's play with the bracket a little bit now, now that we see it. First, I adjust the position of the flight path marker. So let's say I would, I would like to be 1000 feet, level flight, 1060. Flight path marker is on the zero pitch line, so I'm flying straight a level. Yep. I have a minus 50, something like that, 200 knots, okay? Yeah. Uh, our weight right now is 10,000 feet, 10,500 pounds plus 1,000 pounds of fuel. Right. That that gives us an approach speed for 17 degrees angle of attack uh, of one with flaps. Yes, we need to also lower the flaps. Flaps to half. Okay. Yes, you need to do that. I give you control. Flaps right. half. Flaps half. Yes, uh, sorry. Flaps full. Flaps full. Thank you. Oh. Have control again. Yep. So, because I forgot the flaps. So, with flaps full, uh, let's say 12,500, our approach speed should be about 120, 124, somewhere there. Okay? Yep. So, let's try to, let's try to achieve that. So, fly path marker on the zero pitch line. 1500 feet, let's stay here for safety. And I, now that I have my flat path marker where I want it, I will start reducing my throttle. Okay. I'm cutting back with the throttle. And I see that I need to keep holding the stick so don't letting the nose come down. Yep. At the same time, I trim, trim upwards, upwards, upwards. As the uh, speed lowers, the bracket coming downwards towards the flight path marker. Yep. I know that my target speed is about 1 to 4, so now it's 163. I need to cut back more on the throttle and keep uh, pulling the stick yep. in order to keep my 1500 feet. 153, okay. Now I need to pull a little more and wait. Let me check. Flaps full. Do you have indication flaps full? I have an indication of yes. Flaps full. Okay. 
Yeah. So there is a mismatch on the speed there because the, the table says one to four, but we don't mind. This speed is for reference. Okay. Our actual Q is the bracket, is the angle of attack. Right. So yep. as you see now, with one four six, I am at almost fifteen hundred feet, and my flat math marker is almost in the middle of the bracket. Yep. What do I need to do? I need to cut back a little bit so to permit the flight path marker to go lower to the zero pitch line. Yep. From from now onwards, from, from this point onwards, you need to separate your actions. And you you need to do that. If you want to adjust where is the fly path marker, you use the throttle. Right. So if you want the fly path marker to go lower, cut back on the throttle. Yep. At the same time, you need the fly path marker to be in the middle of the bracket. So as I reduce the throttle and I see the tendency of the flight path marker to go below the zero pitch line, I help the flight path marker to come upwards inside the bracket. So let's demonstrate that. I cut back on the throttle, flight path marker coming down, yep. and I help by pulling a little bit and trimming on the same time. When I want everything to stop, I add power, to stop the downward motion of the flight path marker and my plane also. Yep. And right now you see we are gliding with almost exactly 17 degrees AOA with a rate of descent 300 knots. Okay. Okay? Oh, yeah. 170 knots. Right now I am not touching uh, at all the controls. Oh, wow. The plane, okay. it flies by its own, okay? Yep. So, I will try now to uh, uh, to do a climb while 17 degrees AOA. Because I need to climb, I need to put my flight path marker above the zero pitch line. Yep. So, you remember, if you want to put your flight path marker somewhere, you need to use your throttle. So, first, increase throttle. Without touching the stick, I permit the flight path marker to come higher. Yeah. I need to stop it here before the 5 degrees line. So I cut back on the throttle. So I need to put that a little bit again. You need to anticipate always to be patient. I overcorrect it now. So I will repeat it. I forgot my own rule that put a little bit throttle and wait. Yep. Put a little bit throttle and wait. So, let's see what happens. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to manage this, but okay, let's try. So, five degrees up, it wants to go down, I add a little bit throttle. A little more, a little more, more. Now it comes up. I subtract a little bit. Yep. Back. Back. All these up and downs, I don't touch the stick at all. Okay. So it's... Okay? Yep. So, because the flight path marker is already inside the brackets. So there is no really, really need for me to touch the stick. Remember, the position of, of the flight path marker according to the pitch ladder is governed by the throttle and the position of the flight path marker according to the bracket you adjust this by the stick okay okay i think so <laughs> so uh, let me let, let me make a turn now i know that every time i make a turn i will lose lift so in advance i add throttle put my bank angle you need to we need to be very gentle here yep. I, I added too much I don't cut back on the throttle I just increase my bank angle so the, li the lift I'm going to lose is going to reduce my rate of climb the flight path marker is below the uh, right now the bracket so I need to pull a little bit on the stick to make it happen yeah. 
full. Something like that. I need to cut back on the throttle. I put it too much. I need to cut back on the throttle again. I'm establishing a meeting angle for 130 course. And I should reduce my throttle in order to start descending to 1500 feet. Have you bind the gauge and gauge button on your throttle? I don't believe so, no. I, I'm not oh, even okay. sure what that is. Yeah. Yes, it's very handy because right now you see that your hand symbology is shifted to the left, correct? Yes. So, this thing happens also when you come to land on a carrier. So you need to cage your symbology in order to don't show the wind drift. Right, okay. Uh, let me check. Where is your symbology now? Uh, off to the left. Off to the left. So yep. I will pause now. Pause. Go to controls. Just controls, yes. Uh, on the search, type cage. Yep. Charlie Alpha Golf. Yeah, got that one. So, so other systems, there is cage and cage button. Yep. This button is very crucial for... Uh, this jet and the Hornet also, because it does two, two uh, how many functions? Five functions. Right, okay. Wh wh while we are, when we are in nav mode, like now, cages the symbology on the HUD, so that makes the symbology stays in the center. Right, okay. When you are in air-to-air -air mode, cages or uncages the heater missile uh, head. Right. Yep. Do you know this uh, concept? The, the missile. I I'm not sure what cage actually means, but um, cage means put put it on the cage, yeah. like a oh, bird. Okay. If you put lock, a, lock a bird on the cage, yeah. it doesn't have it doesn't can fly. Correct. Right. Yeah. But in in you uncage it, it moves freely. Right. Yep. So the concept here in nav mode is that you need to cage. So you select this once. So yep. you don't allow the hat symbology to drift according to the wind. Right. Okay. Okay. So in the air-to-air -air fight, we need to uncage our missile so its seeker head is free to move around on its kibble limits to search for the enemy heat source. Right. Yep. So first we point the aircraft to the enemy tail. Yeah. We hear a wobbling sound. Something like that. Yeah. And when we uncage the button, the missile, the tone has, uh, becomes high pitch and verifies that, oh, man, I have a good lock. Yeah. Launch me and I will destroy him. Right. Okay. So uh, there are other uh, three functions on this button, cage and gates, that has to do with the target pod, with the air to ground mod. Uh, I don't remember what else. So did you bind it? Yes, it's bound. Yep. So it's bound. So, unpausing uh, my jet. So, hit it. Oh, yeah, it's in the middle. It's in the middle? Yep. Hit it again. It's off to the left. Off to the left. Yeah. Hit it. I'm going to keep it in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Keep it there. So, yep. now it's time to. The, the one thing I do struggle with at the moment is the, the, the green writing is very, very hard to see against the sky in this aircraft for some reason. On, in the HUD. It becomes... In the HUD. Oh, yeah, it's, it's yes. like the contrast is wrong. Uh, I don't know if that's changeable. Uh, uh, oh, wait, I do see some settings. Uh, uh, on the upro control, on the upro control, uh, there is a brightness knob. Does it work? Saying that it should... Uh, I'm fully bright. So reduce it. Reduce it. Yeah, that's even harder. Ah. Yeah. It's alright. I'll, I'll. Does it work? Yeah, I'll make a plan. It's. I I, no. I I can make it out. It's just very hard to see. 
Okay. Like now, now uh, I can see it a lot better. When we're going straight into the sun, it's it's very hard. How about now? Yeah, that that's pretty good. Okay. So, listen, what we are going to do now. All this time we are flying with high AOA. Yep. It's almost similar what you saw in the show. Yep. This aircraft is not very capable uh, aerodynamic and uh, thrust to ratio wise. Right. That's why we have uh, not our nose is not so high. But if you try to perform the same maneuver with uh, Hornet, you will get the same example, the same result as the Rafale you saw. Right. Yep. So Rafale F-16 Mirage 2000, they are capable of high airways without stalling. Yep. But the principle is exactly the same. Right. Uh, the pilot you saw in the show, what did he do? He accomplished to uh, have these parameters. That means power settings and flight path marker position in order for my aircraft to go forward, straight and level, but the nose is pointing upwards. Right. Okay? Yep. That's the deal. So, let me, we are 16, 17 miles descending to 1500 feet and I will give you control. So, the movement on the throttle should be very gentle, half an inch per time, okay? Yep. Each time you move the, your throttle should be maximum one inch. Okay. Try, try to remember that because it's very, very sensitive. Okay. It shouldn't be so sensitive, but it's okay. Yep. So, let's come down to 1500 feet. Right now the jet is flying by its own. I have trimmed it perfectly. I don't touch the controls at all. In this jet, we would like to have this image you see right now. Flight path marker inside the bracket and all together in about 2.5 degrees below the zero pitch line. Okay. We would like the flight path marker to superimpose the intended point of touching the wheels and the Lie, uh, descending rate which is the number above the right square on the HUD yep. should be maximum minus 600 oh, okay. in the Hornet the limit is minus 750 right. but in this jet is minus 600 so let, let me demonstrate what I'm talking about so I need the flight path marker to come a little bit higher because right now it's in 33 degrees so I add power do you see now that's the image you need to have when you are going to make an arrested or angle of attack landing yep. on the carrier or on the uh, tarmac right. so minus 460 very nice fly path marker almost exactly in the middle of the bracket and all together minus 2.5 up to minus 3 degrees below zero pitch line okay do you see that yeah okay your jet my jet oh yeah gently gently for now don't okay so the throttle go went to your settings okay yeah. no problem at all so first adjust the position of the fly path marker on the zero pitch line using the stick very nice you need to trim it so to stay there by its own I'm just trimming now because because the bracket is in the correct position you need to add a little power we know the speed for that is one four zero it's one two three now you need to add plenty of power now and wait one to seven be patient very nice so cut back on the throttle so because we yes we burn some fuel so the new speed is one three three oops sorry hang on yeah no 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 don't don't say you are sorry never say that again okay <laughs> okay okay yeah very nice exactly so i would like you now to try to fine tune 
the position of the flight path marker on the bracket. So you, you see that you need the flight path marker to come upwards, correct? Uh, come downwards. So oh, the flight path, yeah, yeah, that's correct. The flight path marker needs, very nice. Excellent. Try to keep it as it is right now. So the flight path marker needs to come a little higher to go to the zero pitch line. So I need to add a little bit power. A little bit power and wait. Very nice. Not too much. No, 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 it's okay. okay. You don't want to be at the beginning. Don't chase the middle tick mark of the bracket. Anywhere yep. between the bracket, you are okay for right. now, okay? Yep. Don't be very hard for yourself. Otherwise, you will never learn. Okay. So, what I see now, it's very nice. You are 1800 feet, almost level, minus 30 feet, does it say anything? So I need you now to cut back a little bit on the throttle and permit the flight path marker to come minus one or minus two degrees. There. In order to stop the downward motion, we add half of the power we subtracted. Oh, okay. Very nice. Oh, too much. Oh, I wasn't patient there. No problem. S oh. Small, small adjustments of the throttle. Try to do again the same and come as low as 1,000 feet. Look up ahead, see the runway and try to align yourself with the runway. You know that each time you turn, you must add half an inch on the throttle or less in order to keep this very, very nice picture I see right now. Climbing. Don't mind that. If you climb, you, you know that you need to cut back on the throttle a little bit. Yeah. Okay, 1500 feet. So, on the next left turn that you are going to align yourself with your, the runway, I would like you to put the flight path marker on the skid marks you can see on the runway at the beginning of the skid marks. Okay. The beginning of the skid marks in, is again uh, in between those fat lines from the threshold. Okay? Yep. I need you first. I need you first to oh, yeah. put your flight path market there. Keep it there and then adjust your rate of descent. So we are too high. So yeah. you will permit go okay you know the drift you're doing fine oh <laughs> dropping, dropping, excellent dropping, yeah. no problem what do we do we need at the point at the before we touch we need the rate of descent to be below 600 feet okay yeah that, that's what we need so you can have excess rate of descent like now minus 800 minus 900 yeah. But at the final moment, we need to have below because we need to, we don't want to break the aircraft. Okay. You are doing fine. I, I like what I see. I like what I see very much. So remember, in order to arrest the rate of descent, you need to add a little bit power and probably you will need to uh, push a little bit on the stick, okay? Remember that. Minus 1,000, you need to add power now, you are coming to hot. Minus 500, very nice. Excellent, keep it that way, excellent. Leave it, leave it to slam on the ground. And that, my friend, is an excellent Anglo of Attack landing. <laughs> That's hard work. Perfect, that perfect. Is, perfect. That, is, that is hard work. <laughs> okay, uh, throttle all the way inside, and let's go around. Let's oh, do that again. Going up again? Your jet. My yes, view. yes. Are, are you tired? No. <laughs> I don't do tired. <laughs> so, your jet. Uh, looking for 140. My jet, my, my jet, my jet, my jet. Oh, that's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> so, I need you to put the gear up when on my command right. now. 
gear up. Okay. Flaps. Okay, I need you to put the flaps up in my command. Now. Flaps up. There we go. What happened? Okay. The speed 163. Do I have control? I have control. Okay. Now that you got the drift, I will try to demonstrate the pattern landing, not straight in. What okay. we did was a straight in landing, okay? Yep. So let's say now that we are on the downwind, uh, let's try procedure for the carrier. So 800 feet, about one up to 1.5 miles a beam so north of the runway let's say what well, we got a shake say again please well, uh, we, we seem to have a bit of a shake uh, i don't feel it i have a lag in my picture that you do vr but i don't know if we're talking about the same thing yeah i've got, I've got a, a very shaky cockpit at the moment it's, it's like it's vibrating so, uh, Okay, you have control. I have control. Okay. How it's now? Uh, okay, the speed's picking up. I think the speed was too low. We were down at 155. But as, as I get out yes, of the... But, yeah. but it shouldn't, because it was 155 with gear and flaps up, so it was a normal speed. Yeah, I think this... Uh, okay. I think no the problem. aircraft's uh, giving problems with our... It, it might have th the thought the gear was still down or something. But yes, that's w that's why because this is not an actual model; it's yeah. open source. So, yep. so we're experiencing this stuff. Okay. So listen, what happens now? Yeah. Go go 800 feet. 800 feet. Yes. So you need to go lower. Oh, 800. 800. My God. <laughs> I'm deaf. No, you're not. You're <laughs> saturated. <laughs> Okay. Start reducing your speed and uh, configure the jet for landing. That means if you if you are in a hurry, speed brakes out. Keep the flight path marker on the horizon, 800 feet. When the speed is below 200 knots, gear down, flaps full, and speed brakes inside. Gear down, flaps full. Switching up. But you, you need to remember to do that below 200 feet. Okay, uh, 200 knots, you know me. Okay. Sorry. So, very nice. So, you know what to do now. You see the yeah. bracket. We need to fly at 800 feet. 135, 140 our uh, normal speed or 129. So, the only thing we need to do is to add power to go flight path marker on the zero pitch line. Very nice. Excellent. When you feel comfortable, I need you to make a level turn, left hand, for the opposite heading. One, three, five. But you know, eh? you need to keep the flight path marker on a zero pitch line and in between the bracket. Like this. Very nice. Remember, do not chase the symbols. Okay. Act act and anticipate act and anticipate excellent no problem that the angle of attack is a little bit low yeah. never mind when you get out of the of, of the turn it will be okay but now it's too low yeah. so you need probably you need probably to cut back on the throttle and pull a little bit that's okay we don't mind that we would like to have exactly that when we are on heading what was the heading? Yes, go right, please, go right. 130. Yes, go right, 135. 135. Let me check gear and flaps, very nice. Very nice, keep this heading and at some point try to fix your parameters. So, uh, throttle more, 
to climb to 800, 800 feet, stick back to pull the flight path marker inside, yes, the, the bracket. Anticipate. Be, be, be patient. Be patient now. Come left, heading 125. Because right now we are aligned on the runway, okay? Yeah. So, listen what I need you to do now. You will keep flying like this. 800. Uh, no, we need now to come down. Yes, because we are in the final. Come down to 500 feet, please. 2500. It's hard to see that. Is that 600 I've got in there at the moment? Yeah. 600, yes. yes. I, I will tell you. I will tell you. 540 now. Stamp, start climbing. No problem, no problem. 460, it's okay. Leave it there. Stay yeah. there. Stay at the level. 460. 440. I think on the final, on the carrier, minimum altitude is 3, 370. Okay. So we are okay. So, what I need you to do now, you look outside, spot the runway, and keep your keep flying straight and level until the desired touchdown point is 2.5 degrees below the zero pitch line. At that point, you should make the flight path marker superimpose the desired touchdown point. Normally on the runway, the desired touchdown point, point is uh, for uh, angle of attack landings 1,000 feet from the threshold. So, at the beginning of the skid marks, okay? Yeah, it's, it's it's quite far now. You cannot see the skid marks yet. So you need to fly like this, straight and level, until the desired point of landing is minus 2.5 degrees. So 2.5 degrees below the zero pitch line on the HUD. Okay. So when the skid marks hit hit halfway between the the level and yes, the, and the part, halfway, yeah. yes. Yeah. At that point, you need to point with the stick the flight path marker in the desired point of touch because when this happens the flight path marker is on the zero pitch line eh? so you need to push yeah. and at the same and, and at the same time what you need to do Hang on. you you will get the feeling okay so i'm Very way nice. out here i'm way out here Hang on. no no everything is great don't okay. don't don't uh, don't uh, come lower because we are losing the wire. When to come higher, 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 because we are too low. But again, the same principle. When the thick lines come halfway, point at them with the flight path marker. I'm not. I'm Is not, it yet? No, I'm not sure which line I'm looking at. So I'm the thick lines. Do you see the skid marks in front of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't go, don't do that now because we are in the middle of the runway. Okay. You have the jet. Be calm. Relax. Yep. Wiggle your toes. Wiggling. Help you relax. <laughs> yes. Wiggle your toes. That's the trick my instructor learned me in the States when I was doing my first step to air fueling. All right. <laughs> okay. Wiggle, wiggle your toes. Yeah. It reflexes and relaxes your muscles. So. Uh, Please climb up to 800 feet. Don't hit the ground. Uh, uh, I, need, I need to answer a phone call. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pardon my gig, sir. Yep. Ta biografica. Ta biografica in sena gridos che pu grafi etiqueta biografica. Sto grafi omu. I aristeras ti aristeri othoni i sto ketrico. Sorry, that was my PhD supervisor. No. So, 800 feet. Very nice. So, start turning left for the opposite heading. Three, uh, three, one degrees. Three, one, zero degrees. But please be a level 10. Don't climb. Oh. 
Okay, got it, fixing. I've climbed way too much. Yes. So, reduce throttle. Remember, when when I am flying AOA, up and down aircraft, throttle. Okay? Yeah. Position, roll, roll out, roll out, roll out, 310. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to, I'll try to fix this all okay. up quickly, hang on. No, no, don't rush, don't rush. Rush is a bad advisor. So, slowly descend 600 feet. 600. When you hear descend, you need to cut back on the throttle. More, cut back on the throttle, cut. And wait. Now it's coming, okay? Yeah. Very nice. Start recovering. We need 600, so recovery means I need to put back, put power, add power. Very nice, excellent. If you check your left, you see our touchdown point. Do you see on our 9 o'clock? Yes. You see the skid marks? Yes. Okay, that's where we need to touch our main wheels. Okay. So let's, let's say now that we are reached the bow of the carrier. We are 600 feet now, but I will make that easier for you. Let's wait a little bit and Whoa. listen because we are uh, too close now. We've lost, we've lost engines. I have no throttle. You don't uh, have throttle, my jet, my jet, my jet. jet. Oh yes, you are oh. right. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, that's not good. What happened there? <laughs> I don't know. It just, it just cut out. Cut even out. It just, just switched off. Yeah. Did you check the fuel? Probably we uh, ran out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to check. Do you remember I said you we need to check the fuel every yep. 15 minutes? Yep. Yes, we forgot to do that. So now we are dead. <laughs> we, we have learned a lesson from this. <laughs> yes, always. So uh, let, me, let me stop recording. Oh, no. But it's okay. I'm very happy because you got the drift. Yeah. I, I think you did, okay? So, because from uh, tomorrow and for the next five days I'm going to be absent. I'm yep. going a small vacation with my family. Nice. Uh, you have a lot of to, a lot yep. to practice. Yep. So, you see that, okay? I will send you the video I recorded okay. to have the voice recordings and my voice telling what to do, okay? Yep. Brilliant. Yep. Uh, what else? You have many things to practice. You have oh, to yes. practice your aerobatics yep. with either jet you like. Yep. I uh, and you need to practice uh, this angle of attack thing. Yeah. But I think you got it. You got it. I think you got it. It yeah. only take time. You, you see, uh, in the real uh, in the carrier operations, they do it so many times. It becomes natural. Yeah. But as slow it becomes natural, yep. the same rate dissipate. So okay. if you are out of the carrier for uh, let's say t ten days. It it, it it it's gone. You need to li to remember that. Yeah, it's okay. very it's because it's very hard. You know, you understand it's very hard. Yeah, uh, the, yeah. The, the part where I was getting very lost was um, the the procedures. I wasn't quite sure while we we're coming in what I was meant to be doing. So I'll, I'll have to I'll have to try try work that bit out because I, I you were saying um, minus two point five degrees on the skid marks and then move something and yeah and when you're back we'll have to work that bit out again because that's that's where i got very lost ah okay yeah. yes i was talking about the intended point of yeah. touch down yeah because we we need to learn to touch down in the third wire on the on the carrier right yep. because if you don't if you don't trap the third wire you will get a low uh, score yeah and they will kick you out of the carrier Okay. And probably, and probably, and, and probably from the from the fighter. Right. They okay. will transfer you to to a cargo jet. Okay. So you don't. C130. Uh, yes, C130, <laughs> E2, whatever. So yeah. that's the deal. That's okay. why we need to practice yep. to land at a specific point on the runway, and when we master that, it will be very easy on the carrier. Okay. Because at some point on the carrier. Depending, of course, your system yeah. and your VR headset, what, uh, how much is, how clear is the view? You can see the third wire, right? So you can put the flight path marker on the third wire, okay? And and you will trap this wire, and everything will be okay. Yeah, okay? brilliant. Okay. So Excellent. that's that's the deal. So. All right.
I have to go now. Sorry about the crash. No problems. <laughs> no, no, because as an instructor, I'm responsible for that. All right. So, uh, I leave you now. Yeah. Uh, if you need, I, I will be in Viber, in, uh, sorry, in Discord. If yeah. you, any questions arise, yeah. ask me. And yeah. when I see the message, I will try to answer them, okay? Fantastic. But I will be, I will be away from computer for five days. Enjoy your holiday. Hope you have a good one. Detox. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>